part C to day four. And now that we have our first two squares of this panel, we are going to be changing to yellow. Now, if you remember, the yellow pattern was a little bit complicated, um, but since I'm using 16 stitches, if you remember from my other video, or if you need to go back to it, that's totally okay. I went from 16 to 14 stitches. Well, actually 15, because I think my, my black was, was an odd number of stitches. But anyway, I just need to be on 14. So since we are actually starting from the wrong side of our work, this is a little differently because the other times when we were switching colors, we were doing just knit stitches across because we always seem to land on our right side. But when and if you end your square on the wrong side of your work, this is what you're gonna do. And we all know how to change our colors. So instead of doing a knit stitch, we're doing a purl stitch so that stitched color line won't show up on the front of our work. So basically, you're just gonna do Instead of knit stitches, you're doing purl stitches. And remember when we're changing colors, we always grab onto that other color so we don't have, so it doesn't loosen up. Because remember, we're gonna always tighten it later. So we are coming in and we're making sure, tightening here, that it doesn't come apart. And holding on if you need to, because it's totally okay if you need to hold on to basically all the strings. That's totally okay to get going so that you don't keep going like, oh, my strings are coming apart or anything. So we're doing these, and right now I'm just gonna go ahead, and since I already did a few stitches, I'm just gonna go ahead and secure this one. So we're gonna come in, and like we always do when we do a knot, to secure our, our stitch there so it doesn't move. And I know we have two strings, because this one coming up right here is, is the red string. So we'll have to secure two strings. And like I said, I will be taking off two stitches to get to 14. So I can go ahead, because we don't need that anymore. So instead of doing, you know, the knit stitch where you take off, it's the same thing to take off a stitch and purl. You just get your two stitches if it will let me. <laughs> All right. There we go. We get our two stitches, we do our purl stitch, and those two stitches are now one. So now we're coming in, and I have to do that twice. So I'm just gonna do one more stitch, and then in this one, I'm gonna come in and do that again. Do my purl stitch with two stitches, and those two stitches come in underneath. So I will end up with my 14 stitches that I need to do my double moss stitch pattern. And like I said, if you need to go a little slower or need a refresher on this pattern, you can go back to my previous video where we first did the yellow square. And I know our red yarn is still attached, but once we're done with this row, we have our yellow with that seamless transition and now I'm going to come in and cut this off and since it's a little farther away from the other ones we're just going to go ahead and do it we can do a double knot just so it won't come out but like I said later on when we start hiding our, our tail ends this will be fairly easy to hide okay so now that we're done our red yarn, we can just go ahead and concentrate on our yellow square. All right, so we have our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have our 14 stitches. So we can just go ahead and start our pattern, which our row one begins with two knit stitches and then goes into two purl stitches and then ends on two knit stitches.
just a friendly reminder that when you're knitting, you always want to make sure to not knit too tight or too loose. You kind of have to find that sweet spot of knitting so that your needles would easily go through, but not too easily that they fall out or anything. All right, and there we have, whoop, <laughs> there we have our first row, and then we're coming into our second one, which starts on two purl stitches. Of giving shape to our panel because like I said in my previous video this pattern tends to curl but we just have to keep giving it shape and when we sew all our panels together it won't be a problem because by the end of this video you'll have a second panel which is really awesome switch to our last color which will be red again. Now that we have our third square here we're going to be adding our finals our final color to complete this second panel. So if you look at the picture of the sweater we are going from red, red and black to yellow back to red. Now you're probably thinking 
I only have 14 stitches and this one was 16. Well, that's an easy fix because all we have to do is add stitches and that's fairly simple. So we're gonna come in with our color change. Here, we're gonna bring in our red because that's what we're gonna be using. And remember grabbing all your tail pieces and bringing that color in. And just as a reminder, I usually like to add or take away stitches, like kind of in the middle of my square, so then we don't get that awkward jump. And it's just a seamless addition or subtraction because it works for both. And now that I have a few red stitches in, I'm going to come in, cut off my yellow yarn because I don't need it anymore. And we'll do our tails. These tails are kind of long, but that's okay. Just make sure you have a decent tail. Not too short because when I hide in, or when I'm going to teach you to hide in your tails, you don't want to have a short tail because then you won't be able to hide it. Okay, so now that we're kind of in the middle of our square, to increase a stitch, we're going to go in like we're knit stitching, but you know how we usually just slide this off? Instead of sliding it off, we're going to bring our right needle to the back and enter that stitch through the back and then just knit it as normal and then there that's now we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so we're gonna have to do that again to get to 16 so we're gonna come in like we're knit stitching and then bring our needle our right needle to the back Enter the stitch from the back, wrap our yarn around, and bring it forward and slide it off. So now, when we finish our row, we should have 16 stitches again so that we can be, again, with our right size square, because <laughs> if we were to continue with 14 stitches, this top square would have been skinnier than all the other ones, and we don't want that. Now, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 stitches. And we can start our red one since we are starting on the wrong side of our work. Instead of starting on knit, we are going to start on purl. Because remember, row 2 is purl, and row 2 is always on the back of our square. So we're doing our purl stitches. So that when we flip over to the right side of our work, we're doing our knit stitches. And if you don't remember how to do the stocking knit pattern, you can just go back to the first part of day four, which is part A, that one, and that was the red square that we did. And I have the pattern written out and everything so you can see. Make sure we always have room on our needles. stitches for this row. And we always make sure to tighten it to make sure it doesn't loosen up or anything. And now we come in with our knit stitches on the right side. Like I said, the ends can always get kind of loose, so we want to make sure that doesn't happen. So that's why we're always tightening to make sure that no stitch kind of is left hanging over the side. And 
that everything just looks kind of nice and in order. there we have our first two rows and as always you are going to keep knitting until you complete your pattern okay now we have our almost completed square of our second panel so we have one more row left to do which is a purl row and then we will be taking it off the needle which for those that like the terminology it's called binding off so that's when you do your little border at the top so that it no longer has to be on the needle and it won't come apart. stitches on this final row. All right, so now we turn our work over and to bind off, all we need to do is first have two knit stitches on our right needle. And then like before, we just take that first stitch Pull it over the second one and we keep doing that until we've done all our stitches and I like to hold that second stitch because sometimes it'll want to pop off and we don't want that or else you know we won't have our border and our work will come apart. our final stitch here where we pull it off and then this one if you remember from the other 
video, we take our yarn that's still connected to the, to the ball, wrap it around, make it like a fake second stitch. Bring our other one over. And now we can take it off because all we need to do is pull so we can get a decent tail. Cut it off. And there we have our clean edge. And here we have our second completed panel. Thank you so much for following along. In my next video, I will actually be showing how to hide all these tails, so don't worry. And remember to like this video and subscribe to keep up and follow along on my other social media so that we can connect because I really do enjoy um, seeing your progress and getting to know each and every one of you. And remember to always treat people with kindness.